I have the power supply from my modem. Now what I've done so far, and then I realized, oh, I should record this. I uh, have taken and cut the wire and stripped the two ends. Now what I'm going to do is convert this over to 12 volts DC by putting on a cigarette lighter end. So the first thing I have to do is figure out where is the which is the plus wire. Okay. So I'm going to set my meter on the ohms measurement scale. Actually on the 2000K I should hear a beep if I have a solid connection. Should. Nope, this one doesn't do the beeping. Okay. But anyway, so you can see the meter going to close to zero. There's some resistance in the wire. So what I want to do is put one in the middle here, and I want to figure out which wire is a positive, which is going to be the center connection on this. There it is. So the striped wire is the positive, and obviously the other wire won't have a connection. See, there's no connection on the meter. It just reads empty. And when I connect this wire, you get uh, 2 ohms measurement. So I know that this striped one is the positive wire. So that's going to go into the positive on the cigarette lighter socket. So this type of socket, you clamp the wire in crimp it on and then you crimp the the wire itself in there so let me turn on some more light Okay, so that's the striped wire, the positive. I'm going to put that in the positive of here. Now this is a slip-in. Let's see how that goes. This is going to face outwards and slides in here until it locks in place. There it is. There's the positive. It's awkward. I'm trying to do this opposite-handed of how I would normally work so that I can show the camera. So the striped wire is on the positive. I'm always extra, extra, extra checking my work. You do not want to mess up. Worst case, when I'm done, what could happen is the the um, I might ruin a plug if I had it backwards. I prefer not to have that happen, but. Because I will again check the voltage on this and make sure it's plugged in right before I plug it into my modem. Those of you who have been following me right along know that my modem is right now plugged into a power inverter on AC power, which is wasteful. The inverter is wasteful. I'm running the inverter, which steps up the voltage, and then I'm running the power supply which steps down the voltage you've got loss in the inverter loss in the power supply losses 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 I might as well go straight in with this that'll be better this way so now I'm gonna plug this into the power supply the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket which you won't see but I'm going to do that just a minute here maybe I can pull it over oh yes I did leave enough flexible line on there. So I'm going to plug this in, set my voltage on 20 volts on my meter, turn on the meter. I'm going to plug this in. Now I should have power in my plug here. Plus in the middle. And I've got 
which is what I'm getting out of my uh, solar panels right now. So, there it is. I have a new converted power plug. Let me make sure and double check that, make sure the polarity is right, because I want plus in the middle. And minus is on the outsides. That doesn't show a minus sign, so it's working properly. So I am definitely hooked up right. Now, I'm going to show you something. If For those of you who have never done this and would like to attempt to do this in the future, there is a little indicator that tells you the plus and the minus. See it so it shows positive in the middle. Whoops. Oh, sorry about that. Just out of focus. Plus in the middle, minus is on the outside. See that? Sorry about the shakiness. This is really zoomed. So you see the plus in the middle, minus on the outside, right on the bottom right there. And that shows you when you are hooking up your homemade plug that this is the way you want to have it. So obviously I did the same, plus in the middle, minus on the outside. So now I should be able to take this and plug it into my modem, and the modem should work happily. Which I'm going to do right now. Hold on a minute, I'll pause the camera and I'll show you as I do it live. Now the modem is on, and this is the AC power plug. I'm going to pull this out. Boom, AC power plug is out. I'm going to remove that plug from the under the counter here. Sorry, I hesitated a second because it's jammed up in the wires. There it goes. Here is the AC power plug removed from my modem. Okay, the original AC power adapter removed. No more power. Now I'm going to take my DC power plug that I just plugged into the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, which fortunately I did not screw down to the under my kitchen cabinets yet so that I can move it around. And there's the other end. I'm going to plug it into my modem and we should have power. There we go, 12 volts directly. No more need for a power inverter just to run my modem. I've got a 1500 watt pure sine wave power inverter that I was using just to run a 1 amp 12 watt modem. This is 1 amp, so it's literally 12 watts power that it uses. And I was running the entire power inverter going through a wasteful um, power socket just to run 12 watts of power into my modem. Well, there it is. It's coming back online and success. We have now converted the modem to DC power for off-grid solar power living in my tiny house on wheels. Going to be much more efficient. I'm probably saving about 3 to 5 watts with all the loss in the lines and conversions by doing this. So, very good.